Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, I'd like to welcome uh, the different uh, mayors coming from different cities of the world, uh, different uh, local representatives, councillors, uh, also uh, representatives from different international organizations, uh, including the UN bodies, to this very important uh, international conference, mayoral conference on uh, the City Prosperity Index and Initiative. Uh, I think that this is a very important event that uh, UN Habitat is uh, hosting along with uh, the World Is Assembly of Islamic Cities and uh, the uh, international city leaders. I'd like to thank all of them. Uh, for this uh, important uh, conference, for hosting and supporting this event. Uh, we have now more than 54% uh, of the global population lives in uh, urban areas. And this is increasing, it's about increasing 2% every year. Uh, so this means that uh, urban areas are going to be more and more important for uh, human livelihoods, for prosperity of uh, our humanity. And uh, it means that we have to address these issues properly, both uh, with uh, proper and scientifically sound uh, instruments and mechanisms and uh, statistics and indicators, uh, but also uh, through uh, a dialogue, a constructive dialogue of exchanging experiences uh, between uh, different communities, um, different uh, societies and cultures. Uh, the uh, City Prosperity Initiative is a very important initiative that looks into these uh, different issues from uh, various perspectives, both uh, economic, social, uh, political, but also environmental perspectives. The environmental uh, dimension uh, and the sustainability uh, uh, dimension of uh, the City Prosperity Initiative is uh, very, very uh, important and uh, it deals with uh, a complex era, array of different issues uh, including uh, both economic uh, and social uh, dimensions of the urbanization uh, processes uh, but also dealing with the uh, important issues of uh, protecting uh, natural habitats uh, addressing uh, environmental standards, issues like air pollution, issues like uh, uh, water quality, uh, waste management, uh, and uh, green areas. Uh, the connection between uh, humans and nature is a very important connection. It has uh, a lot of social and psychological uh, aspects and we need to deal with those issues. When I was a counselor for um, Tehran, the capital of Iran, uh, we had a session uh, and we invited uh, uh, different uh, specialists working on the birds living in Tehran. It was very important for us to have a report on the conditions of the different species and populations of birds in Tehran. And uh, we thought that this was very important, both in terms of the natural habitats of these birds, protecting and conserving those different species, uh, but also the psychological effect, the importance of uh, birds uh, for not only uh, our urban population, uh, but also uh, particularly for the children. And uh, we thought that this would be a very important event, and it was very well received and welcomed but also by media and also by the local population. So uh, I think that uh, addressing these issues is very important and I, I hope that uh, you'll have a constructive dialogue and throughout uh, these uh, deliberations you'll be able to come up with uh, uh, innovative ideas, uh, ways, ways to deal with uh, uh, these uh, different complex challenges that you have in order to um, improve the quality of life, which is very important. Um, social inclusiveness and equity, uh, the diversity that we have in our societies, we also have them in uh, our, uh, we also have that diversity in our societies and uh, this synergy can uh, create a lot of new opportunities. 
And uh, we hope that we could enhance uh, urban prosperity in both a holistic uh, and also integrative manner. Uh, also taking into consideration the importance of the sustainable development goals that we will adopt at the international level this year. Uh, taking those sustainable development goals into consideration in the urban perspective is of utmost importance. And of course, we have the climate change negotiations this year, uh, which will ultimately come to a new agreement in Paris. Uh, it's very important to be able to draw up plans for more <coughs> resilient urban uh, communities, uh, urban uh, plans for uh, proper ad adaptation to climate change issues. Uh, these are all um, emerging challenges that we have in our urban areas, and uh, I hope that you'll be able to uh, address all these issues in uh, the uh, few days ahead that you have. And uh, we also have uh, this uh, Prosperity Council, a uh, high-level international council uh, that um, we've worked together to... Uh, uh, choose members of this council, uh, people who have uh, both a, a reputation and experience in uh, urban and city, uh, sustainable urban and, uh, planning, and uh, I hope that we'll be able to uh, convene uh, the session of uh, this high-level council on uh, prosper city prosperity uh, as soon as possible, and uh, I hope that this high-level council will be able to help to forward and promote the very important objectives of the City Prosperity Initiative. Best wishes for all.